In Joshua chapter 3, the Israelites are crossing the Jordan River on their way into Jericho, and this is the way it went down. Joshua picked 12 men, one man from each of the 12 tribes, to come together and pick up the Ark of the Covenant. And those 12 men stood at the waters of the Jordan River with the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders. And as soon as they got there, God piled up the waters downstream so that the Israelites would be able to walk across on dry ground. And that's exactly what happened. At the end of Joshua chapter 3, it tells us that those 12 men who held the Ark of the Covenant, they stood firm on that dry ground until everyone was across and everyone was safe. I imagine that was a pretty significant day for those 12 men. So significant that I wouldn't be surprised if they shared the details of that day with their children or their grandchildren or their great-grandchildren or anyone that would, uh, anyone that would listen to them. And I imagine the conversation going something like this, as those 12 men are telling their families or their friends, do you remember that day that we crossed the Jordan River at flood stage and it was, uh, it was the highest possible water and we got across and it was miraculous? And they say, well, tell us what happened. What did you do to make that happen? And they say, well, here's what we did. There were 12 of us, and we each grabbed the Ark of the Covenant, and we carried it to the waters of the Jordan River, and then we stood in the waters. And we stayed there. And I imagine the kids or the grandkids saying, like, that's it? <laughs> that's all you did? I mean, you basically... Did nothing. He had just stood there. And then I imagine those 12 guys saying, Yeah, we did nothing. Our God did everything to make sure we got safely across. God did everything just like he did at Christmas. All on his own, without us asking, God sent a Savior. All on his own, without anybody's help, he put the Son of God in the womb of a virgin, even without Joseph's help. All on his own, God made Christmas happen. And why? Because he didn't want the outcome of your life to depend on how you answer the question, did I do enough? Was I good enough? Was I faithful enough? Was I godly enough? He wanted the outcome of your life to depend entirely on how scripture answers the question, did Jesus do enough? Was Jesus good enough? Was Jesus perfect enough? Was his sacrifice worth enough? Was his love big enough? Was the forgiveness that he won for the whole world sufficient? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, God did everything so that you could know that one day you will safely cross the shore into heaven. Rest well tonight, my friends.